But you we were talking about before that you're a fan of Marcus Ambrose. Did you get massively into the NASCAR scene in the 2010s? Uh, used to follow him, yep. Mm. Yep, and I reckon... What's like, killed it for you, though, watching NASCAR? Pardon? Has, has stage racing killed it for you watching NASCAR or anything? Yeah, that's a little bit... Yeah, stage racing. Why just keep going? Yeah. Why, why stop for? Yeah. You know, like, and the playoff stuff? Yeah. I don't get that either, hey. What, yeah. yeah, you could be do it nowhere all year, one win one race, and then win the championship. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, isn't isn't championships off consistency. consistency and most wins or something? You know what I mean. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I still reckon Ambrose. Like, you know, Ambrose wasn't in a Tony Stewart car or, or yeah. a you know, Hendrick car or, you know, if he was in a top car, I think he would have done a lot better. Petty car that he had was yeah he did a lot did a lot that car yeah yeah he was he broke the record one year fastest ever in NASCAR for a qualifying lap yeah right over two hundred and something mile an hour was that at Texas can't remember not it might have been it was a yeah. big track yeah um but I still reckon he's you know he's one of the best mm. drivers out of Australia yeah yeah you got Scotty McLaughlin and that but the cars are probably easy to drive these days mm. you know. I'd like to see Scotty in a NASCAR. Yeah. I'd like to see Jamie Winkup go NASCAR racing. I'd yeah. like to see um, you, Shane I, Van Gisborne go NASCAR racing. Like, yeah. they stay, all stay in, they all stay in supercars. Like, yeah. they don't have a go. Overseas and they don't stuff. Have to go overseas. Yeah. Because I, I think Shane would be good. He, he's good pretty much anything. He's a bit like a Larson. Gets in the rally car, he goes good. Supercar, he goes good. But he's always in a car. Mm. And that's like Larson. Always in a, he's always in a car. Mm. And that's just seat time. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you do something all the time, you're going to be good at it. Mm. Um, but, you know, Ambrose come back here. The cars have changed a lot mm. from what he used to race. Yeah. He always used to, I've heard his, his interviews always, oh, the cars don't move around like they used to. Mm. Um, you just don't know if they're going to step out. You know, you don't you don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, but he only did, how many races did he do with Dick Penske? DJR Penske How many races Did he come back and do Two or well, three He came races. and done that Wild car race At wild card race Homebush at Homebush Yeah In the Xbox Yeah that was a good looking car That eh? was a good looking car And then He got the drive And ran Clipsal Yeah um, And put in the top ten Of the You know Top ten shootout So like Yeah Going alright um, And they only had one car For getting data as well So You know It's like A one car team Is always for data and stuff is a lot harder than a two car team. Mm. Um, and then he went to the Grand Prix and a couple of big smashes and, and had enough. Yeah. And then just he raced Bathurst that year with Scott Pye. Mm. And then that was it. And that was it. Yeah. You know, I still, you know, he had enough. He'd done it. NASCAR would have drained him. Yeah. Every weekend racing. Yeah. I think he just had enough after doing all those, five, it was like 40 races in a year in NASCAR. Yep. Every yeah. weekend. Testing, you know, and that was another thing in supercars. They didn't do any testing. Mm. And they still don't. Yeah. One a year or two a year or something like that. Like, Yeah. You got like the drook, the rookie in the drive day type of things, you know. Yeah, I mean, the evaluation yeah. Tests. And, what they, and they do like a co-driver set up. Yeah. In the, um, in, in a start of a race meeting, you know what I mean? Like for co-driver, like where's the Sandown 500? That's gone. Yeah, I know. It's lost the characteristics, as we were saying ages ago on yeah. the podcast. I used to, I'm telling you, when I first, like, in the early days, AU days, BA days, with Ambrose and the Rat, mm. I would never miss a race mm. on television, always watch it. Yeah. Now it's, yeah, it's like, you know, I'll have a look who won. Yeah. I think they're even racing today. They're racing they today. are. They're in Pukakoi. Pukakoi. Yeah. <laughs> another track going? Yeah. I know, yeah. That's another, another track, track going. Another track going, even though it's not here, but it's another track yeah, going. Yeah, you're right. There's no, um, <clears throat> there's no, I don't know. Brooke and I were talking about it. Like the, the programming is different to when we were in the nineties. Do you know what I mean? Because they had to entice us. I mean, I guess the difference is it's on Fox, Foxtel, but in our era, it was on mainstream TV. So they had to push it hard. Yep. So that's the uh, that's uh, that's what I think's the difference. And also the difference is it's obviously a lot more 
professional to when we were, you know what I mean? Like in terms of professional was in the cars are a lot more high tech. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. A lot yeah. more money involved now. Yeah. A lot more things. money. Yeah. And that's with anything, football, you mm. know, it's just such, it's a business, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And that's like my cousins going back back in the day. They used to just build a car and go racing, you know, like, yeah. and racing the privateer, you know, you now everything's, yeah, everything's going to run, everything the same, everything's the same, you know, pretty much. Mm. Like you said, with rugby, you used to go do a day job and then jump on the field afterwards. Yeah. I, yeah. Think, I think Jeff Toovey, he was an accountant. Yeah. Yeah, right. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. <laughs> had Jack sure Hill's good. Had Jack Hill's good last season. He's a real estate agent. He's a real estate agent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah so he because he played he played for the Roosters, didn't he? He played for the Roosters and the and Manly. Yeah, he did play for Manly. Yeah, yeah. he loves Manly more than the Roosters, by the way. Does he? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's local. he ran forwards in the Ute too, didn't he? The Ute's. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, he's he was a, see he was he was actually awesome to have on the podcast because he was he came from both. Yeah, and and he's saying like his just mindset was just he was just always he had, competitive. He'd have a better, he'd have a better. Background because he played rugby league and yeah. raced, yeah. Um, race cars, so you can get the both yeah. sides of the story. I, I remember you telling me ages ago. I think we were just talking at Parramatta when we were, there's a few years before COVID that Facebook and social media was so much more easy to access, be accessible for like sports stars. So you didn't you like chat to Jamie Wink up on Facebook? When yeah, Facebook yeah, I just did, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when he first started, started. Um, I think this might have been on MySpace. Yeah. Yeah, oh, right, MySpace. Takes us back. <laughs> yeah, my, I think MySpace. This might have been MySpace. It's probably kids when he first kids. Start, when he first went to Triple Eight, he you, you could send him a, an inbox and he'd reply. Yeah, right. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. I got my. Um, I tell you what, because I tell you how it happened. Mm. He he won the he won the um, he won the round at Oran Park, mm. and I'm pretty sure he won the round. They're the better electrical cars. Yeah, and. They were sponsored by Domino's Pizza, and they're doing a signing at Domino's Pizza at Rouse Hill. Yeah, right. And I took my car down. And I had, Are you Falcon? He yeah. Just, him and Lowndes signed the dashboard, and yeah, jumped inside the dashboard, and having a bit. Of, you know, Lowndes was very signed it. How you going? Bye. Yeah. Jamie was, you know, he was a new kid on the block. Yeah. Stayed and had a chat. You know, like you know, and then that's how I met. I messaged. Him, I said, "Oh, thanks for signing my car," blah, and that's how I messaged him. Yeah. You know, every now and again, I'd give him a message, but that you know, then he started to get more. I think, more, more I think he got rid of his. I think MySpace might have been gone by then, and then oh, it's still there. It's just dead. <laughs> it's still there. Yeah. Dan does a, his research. Yeah. He goes and finds I've out. I've actually. Like, I'd I'd hate to think what's on mine. <laughs> I, might, I might log on and see if I still find my page. Yeah, yeah I try to do that, but mine's actually just disappeared. They, they keep some and keep. I, I think I might have deleted mine when I got Facebook. But yeah, if you've kept, if you kept, held, held on to yours and just didn't delete it, it I, should be on the database. I remember you used to get these mad. Um, you get your background yes. stuff, and, and, you know what I mean. You'd make a background that be that. That was cool. That was yeah. I remember that was cool. So I used to get a fox, like fo- you know, like fox clothing one. Yeah, yeah fox there because I was <laughs> yeah like motocross. motocross back then. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah that was cool. Awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Well, before we end this podcast, Mark, because I know we've been here for a while, and we've had a few distractions within the podcast. I want to introduce you to a show called The Fast Five. Yep. It's not a show. I mean, sorry, a questionnaire type of thing, a show thing. For Dan's fast. special segment. Dan, my <laughs> little special segment. I thought, I'd, I thought I'd end the podcast with like a little questionnaire thing yep. just to um, see how much your knowledge of you know, knowledge you know of motorsport. We're not much. Not much. <laughs> well, the, there's, 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 there's a plus and a minus side to the podcast, right? The plus side is you do win a cool prize if you do get all five correct. If you get zero or one correct, you get a shit prize. So you still come out with a prize. Let's everyone's just say you've got to get over everyone's more a winner. Than two. Everyone's <laughs> a winner. Yeah, but the thing is with the with this part is the lower the lower questions you get, like the lower you, you get a it's a pretty shitty prize. So we'll see what you get. <laughs> That's pretty much. Probably what it is. just get to take this bottle of water. Home. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You get something better than they're, a bottle of water. They're hidden under Dan's desk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one, what year did NASCAR driver Kyle Edwards retire? Do you have this type of knowledge? <sighs> I looked your face about him yesterday. So who was that, Kyle? Kyle Edwards. Edwards. Remember he used to do the backflip off the, off yeah, the, off the was, NASCARs? Yeah, he was number 99. Was he number 99? 99. 99. What year did he retire? He got pushed out by Joe Gibbs. So he was in a Joe Gibbs car when he retired? Yes. 
No, I think. Oh, no, not very long ago, technically, no. I'm going to take a guess. 17? Oh. oh, very close. You've just missed out. 2016. 2016. Yeah, that was good. That I was, was like, very, <laughs> very, yeah. I knew very, it was around that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, who won the Indy 500 in 1988? Oh, jeez. I, <laughs> I thought that was a tough question. <laughs> take, take a stab. The Indy 500 in 1988? Yep. Um, oh, jeez, man. I don't just know. say a legend. Just say a legend. Did... did um, did Senna ever run that? No. <laughs> no. Uh, that's all right. You're, you're down two. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you might know this or might not know this one. How many NASCAR Cup starts did legendary supercars driver Dick Johnson make? Ten? No. <laughs> two. <laughs> so how many... <laughs> How many? Zero. You got zero so far. Told you I we know expect much. you to get the next one. We expect one. you to get the next one. We expect you to get the next one. It gets, it gets easier as you go. Oh, <laughs> How many NRL premierships has the Manly Seagulls won? Eight. Eight. Yay. There we go. One. Okay. And this is this should be another one. And the the, the, the pillows right next to you. What year did the Manly Seagulls and the North Sydney Bears merge? Oh, that's a tough one too. He's thinking. He's thinking really hard, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> he really wants to get this. He really wants to get a no, prize. I've got to get this one. <laughs> he, he won a prize. He just wants something. Like he wants to go. Year I left high school. <laughs> <laughs> they won. They they won the comp in '96. Lost in '97. Yep. He's thinking about it. Was it '98? No. They merged in 2003. They actually they merged in 2000. Merged in 2000. Merged in, in like as in played together. Merged in 2003. And how long? Did, I don't know how long they they played. Two seasons. Two seasons. Yeah. Three, four, five. Because mm. then they played the grand final in two thousand and seven against. Yeah. Melbourne. So they had to they had to reboot the team again. Manly Seagulls. Mm. Yeah. Close. You got one. You got one. You got one. Oh, wait. Premierships. <laughs> what is? Brooke, what so are you going to get, Dan? Come all on. Right, all, all right. right. For those listening, Dan's, you know, going under his desk again. <laughs> Some have heard this in previous podcasts. <laughs> He's back at it. Uh, what have you got you there, go. Dan? Oh, I thought I'd get this one for you, Mark. It's corned beef. <laughs> I'll give it to mum. She can cook with it. <laughs> 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 so you get corned beef. It's. Let me just check if it's still in date. On the yes, top. it should be. It was... The other yeah, week. there we go. It, goes, it, it runs out of date till 2027, so you've still got miles I, on this. I say it was bought the other week, then I made a major stuff up, and I got one of those gigantic things of um, the dried Parmesan cheese and didn't realise it had a quick sale on it, <laughs> and it was out in two days. I was like, what do I do with all this Parmesan cheese? <laughs> yeah, Mark, you'll get to go home Good. with not only a, a, a can of corned beef, but you will, I'll give you a track star shirt to, to end the podcast. Beautiful. Do I get to take my bottle of water too? You can yes. take your bottle of water. And, dude, I really appreciate you coming on this podcast. No, that's all right. I know it's been a bit difficult with what's been going on in the background, but, dude, I really appreciate it. Well, good. Glad I was here. (laughs) Thanks, man. Um, Want to hear more? Each week we will share the hottest clips from our guest interviews on YouTube. But to hear the full episode, make sure to subscribe or follow us on your favourite podcast platform.